That was and, and again, getting buried with your murderer. <laughs> like, way to rest in peace, Howard. Namaste. <gasps>
And then he's like, he talked him into it. Well, maybe he like knew that Jimmy wouldn't go for it, like Kim staying. Yeah. Jeez, I think there's enough of them. <laughs> well, they want to get Lalo. They really want to get Lalo. That's the thing. They feel, well, the more of us we have, the better chances we have of getting them. Is there something we should be looking for? Yeah, a man named Lalo. Yeah. He's stuck in. Oh! Ah! Dang! Uh oh, Gus. These guys don't have bulletproof vests on? That's not. Maybe it wasn't in Gus's budget. Ah. Oh, I bet you Mike helps make Howard's death look like a suicide. Oh, yeah. He has his bulletproof vest on. Yeah, he's gonna wanna. This is gonna be his downfall. Mira nada más a quien tenemos aquí. Al mismísimo Gustavo Frink. He wants to, like, make us suffer. Like, uh -huh, and glorify this. That's going to be his downfall. Yeah, and, like, take him down. Like, yeah. Oh! Oh, so she's that close range. Oof. Yeah, still. It ain't going to feel good. No. Yeah, but this is what's going to get Lalo killed. Unless Lalo's, like, ready to die. No. That's why he's gonna try to do this quick and get out before Mike gets, gets there. Lala, you're gonna have to work on your editing skills yeah. before you take this to. Which one's he take? Don Eladio? Eladio. <laughs> El patrote hinchado y grasoso. Well, obviously. Don Alario never sees this video. Estúpido. Impulsivo. Oh, what's that? I don't know. Oh, he's got a gun Hector. in there. Hector? Yeah, I kept him alive. Oh, that's right. Remember he put a gun down there. You're right. Kept him broken. Not yet. Oh. Did he get up? I don't know. Man, Gus thought of everything. Mm-hmm. Because, yeah, I remember him sticking the mm -hmm. gun down there. Is he dead, though? I think he's wheezing. You can hear him. Oh, that's what you get for not just killing Gus right away. <laughs> you know? Just think. It's flipping Walt, some science teacher that kills Gus Gus. <laughs> just think about it. Gus Gus, he like took down like all his other like Salomon Gus. Ah, oh, bye bye Lala. But what are we gonna do for the last five episodes? What's gonna happen with our big baddie dead? I don't know. He's like, it's a relief. Is that, oh he's dead and gone. I don't have to live in constant fear anymore. Cause he was pretty panicked. Oh, it went through. A little bit. Let's do his oh. vest. That was yeah. his shirt. No, he has blood on his vest. Oh. Huh? But that close range. Mm -hmm. Cool. Mm -hmm. And depending on the kind of bullets he had, too. Some can pierce more than others. Gonna put the body in the refrigerator. Uh -oh. Put something in the refrigerator. I don't know what they're doing. I mean, I'm assuming moving Howard's you body. Doing? You're getting a new refrigerator. I'm assuming stainless will do. Oh, they're gonna move Howard's body out with the refrigerator. Lalo said he was coming back. He's not coming. No, but he said he was. He told me. You understand me? He is not coming back. He is dead. Cause Jimmy's like, I thought he was dead once. Right? And he came back, so right? if you tell me he's dead, how can I believe it? Right? This time he really is, is dead. He's like, God, you two, you got to get your shit together. You got to pull this off. I mean, it's traumatizing. I know. No, Not I know. Them. I know. Are they burying Lalo down there? I guess. Because that'd be hilarious that he's buried in the secret yep. space of the laundromat. 
Oh, both bodies are. Both bodies? Howard's body. Oh. Oh my God, Howard's body's down there too. Yeah. Because he says that they're going to make it look like a suicide, but they're never going to find oh. the body. Yeah. Just yeah. the shoes. Ah. Oh. They're burying them both. I mean, it's justice for Lala, but poor Howard. I know. He's straight up buried in this place. With Lala. With the dude who murdered him. Oh my gosh. Oh, I feel bad for Howard. I know. Man, poor Howard. This I guy. know. I never thought I'd care so much for him, but this... Well, because he didn't do didn't... anything to deserve this. No. Check to make sure they're not just paralyzed. <laughs> Before you bury them, okay? Right. I'm sure Mike feels bad for Howard. Well, yeah, I mean, it's like... He didn't know Howard, right? I know, but just bad for somebody that well, innocent yeah, like that. Yeah. And, that was and, and again, getting buried with your murderer. <laughs> like, way to rest in peace, Howard. Namaste. <gasps> oh, my God. Like, that sucks. Uh, if I woke, if I became back as a ghost, I'd be, I'd be at unrest forever until so someone dug my body and gave me a new burial place. I'm like, get me away from the dude who killed me. Ugh. Action packed. Wow. It? Oh my god, this was a crazy episode. Oh no. Super action packed. Yeah, it was. Oh my god. Okay. Very well, okay. Well, Lala's dead. Yep. Good riddance. He is. Gus was the one who did it. I mean, we knew Gus wasn't going to die. So when Lala cornered him at the laundromat, I'm like, uh, I'm pretty positive only one of you is going to make it out. Right, and we knew and which we, one. And we knew Gus. That's the only kicker is, I mean, honestly, there may be are some people that are watching this who have never seen Breaking Bad, and if I've spoiled anything for Breaking Bad for you, then I'm sorry, but I feel like for many people, they've seen Breaking Bad, so it does take away some of the suspense when you know, right. like, oh, Gus is supposed to rise. Because this was all made after Breaking Bad. Right, but it takes place before. Before Breaking Bad. Exactly, so it's like, we know, we know that Gus is Some people gonna, are going to be alive. And we know and... Jimmy was right, but I, I was worried for Kim. Like, yeah. I was worried that, I don't know, like, Mike wouldn't show up in time and she show up and they would, like, shoot Yeah, because like, we just don't see her in Breaking Bad, so we're not sure what's going to happen to her. But that is like, or maybe this was too much for them for their relationship. Right, and, maybe and they just part away. They part ways. They got divorced, and, and that could be. I guess we'll find out in the next couple yeah. episodes. Yeah, or she was always there. We just didn't see her because yeah. she wasn't part they of the just story. Didn't, yeah. I mean, but Jimmy never mentioned a wife. But he never, he never mentioned anything about his personal. No, life. that's true. He didn't know like anything about his personal life. No, in Breaking Bad. That's so true. We only knew him in relation to like Jesse. And that's Walt. true. That's true. So. That doesn't mean anything. That's true. So we have, we have no idea what's going to happen again. All I know is, if her and Jimmy don't end up together, I hope it's not because she dies. I hope it's just because... They decide they, to they go... They just break up. To, yeah. Yeah, and she just is off with her life somewhere else. Because uh, that was... I guess she was killed. Um, but yeah, Mike, Mike's to the rescue. Except, yeah, I can't make a point. Like, you were supposed to be watching us. Like, where were you? Because, yeah, Mike pulled that detail. I think to put it on his... Um, put it on, daughter. Yeah, which... I don't, I mean, I can't, it was stupid of him. <laughs> Why was Lalo going to go after his granddaughter? Did Lalo even know my, did he know her? I have no idea. I don't know who knows who. I'm going to be real with you. I, I forget. <laughs> Me too. Um, but yeah, anyway, yeah. And I mean, God, yeah, I mean, yeah, it was just back and forth, back and forth. You know, Gus realized, oh, he's at the laundromat. You know, Lalo left right after Kim left because he's like, I'm going to get to that laundromat. And I guess... Lala was just hoping Gus would show up. Or he was just going to go snooping on his own and just video it. Yeah. But he didn't know how to get down in there. No, that's true. You're right. So I think he was hoping Gus would show up. I think he was hoping that... Somebody would show up. Well, because I think he was thinking, oh, Gus... Because he knew when he sent Kimmy... Kimmy? When he sent Kim after Gus, he knew that Gus would have guys there. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's not stupid. Right. He probably figured, okay, she's going to come clean. Like, they're going to stop her and ask, he, you know, like, what's up? Well, oh, that's true. Because he was watching for the guys to pass by. Yeah, that's true. Because he probably figured, oh, they're going to go, they're going after Jimmy. They're going to Jimmy's place. So, yeah, Kim's place. So, I think of all of it, just, he's just smart, you know? Yeah, he was like every step ahead of them. Tall, but not one step ahead no. of us. No, 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 okay. Yeah, okie dokie. Oh my gosh. Alrighty, Pai, well, yeah.
Hope you guys enjoyed the reaction to this crazy episode. Don't forget to subscribe and if you want to watch your full length reaction, you can find it on my Patreon and have a beautiful and pretty Good night. Day.